We are bringing back the OG days of BitLife on this channel. I'm playing on my phone. <laughs> and why you might be asking? Simply because today I am deleting the BitLife app so I can lose all my purchases, but I didn't want to lose it on my iPad. But we are going to be exploring the BitLife marketplace as a first time buyer because I am someone that has had everything since 2018, 2019. So I don't know what it's like for a new player. And I've gotten many comments from people asking me to review the game from a new player perspective where you have have nothing and to take a look at the marketplace to see how much everything actually costs. And if you guys want, I can do a part two where I actually try to now play the game as a new player, a free player. The thing is, is I've done a video like this on my channel in the past, but a lot has changed in the game since then, and we will see if it got better or worse for free players. Come become a patron and join the Patreon community where you can get exclusive videos that will not be posted onto YouTube and unlock early access to my new podcast, Lost and Loud. So here we are. Oh my God, it's so weird playing on my phone. Like I forget how small the screen is. Oh my God, it was my first day of school the other day too, and I'm dying, but here we are. <laughs> you guys can clearly see I deleted the game off my phone. That's why I did it on a different device so I won't lose my in-app purchases on my iPad because that's like my main way of playing. But let's download it. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's ready. <laughs> notifications now. I don't know how, but somehow Cat Life has notifications on. I just know sometimes my iPad randomly gets this thing from a cat being like, did you forget about me? And I'm just like, yeah, girl, I did. Okay, so become someone else in BitLife. Start by picking a gender. We'll go male. Let's be boomer. <laughs> I am Boomer Lawless. I was born a male in Columbus, United States, and I was conceived on a camping trip. Okay, so it's just that little tutorial part. So I'm not actually gonna live this. The goal for this is going through what's even like available for a new player. And honestly, I'm gonna do the math. And I'm just curious for myself, especially after somebody commented that on my video. I was like, you know what? I'm curious. Because we're coming at this from the perspective of like a new player. A lot of us that play regularly are people that have played for like four or five years. So we have access to everything, but you have to also think of new players, right? What they're going through or what's worth it to them. We have the marketplace pop up here. We have the top corner become a bit as in. I guarantee you if I press the X at the bottom of the ad, something about ads is gonna pop up. Okay, one thing I think I have to do is see if I can make my text bigger. So, okay, that's not a paid feature. First things first, let's just see all our settings. Lives in progress. That is obviously grayed out because we haven't been able to actually start a second life. Um, BitLife Marketplace, there's a sale. It's never a sale. We all know price marking. Uh, scavenger hunts, okay. Are those free? Yes, they are. Accessories, achievements, artifacts, boss mode. Boss mode's 25 bucks. That's freaking tea. I don't actually want to do math. I changed my mind. <laughs> Custom cities, that's free. Custom people, that's free. It's just contacts, sports teams. That's God mode, of course. I'm not gonna look at the prices yet for that. Expansion packs, six expansion packs. So I'm wondering if there's a pack for the expansion packs. If there's like a bundle, like there is boss mode. Dark mode is citizen. Light mode is automatic. I prefer light mode, honestly. Superstar mode, the gold is distracting. So I have no urge to buy it or win it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh boy. I'm overwhelmed already. First, Bitizen is $11.99. No more ads. Play unlimited generations. Interact with your teachers and bosses. Visit the salon and spa. Unlock pet store breeders, exotic pets, dark mode, and so much more. Okay. So then there's Bitizen plus God mode, $17.99. The crossed off price is never the actual price. So just know that's just marketing. Okay. But with God mode is the special talents are kind of crucial. With God mode, you customize new lives, edit non-player characters, start royal lives, Lives, says special talents switch to lives of your children that's op it isn't on its own is 11.99 and god mode on its own is 9.99 so that comes to a total is 21.98 or 22 dollars so i'm actually not sure if bitlife is showing me in my currency or u.s currency i'm just gonna take it for as it is because i'm not 100 percent sure what it's showing me as so i'm just going to assume it's u.s dollars clearly you're saving about four dollars by getting the bundle. I do think God mode is the thing that makes BitLife fun because you can customize people. You can like create the characters you want. You can make like Ariana Grande. Like that's how I play BitLife. I'm not sure how other people play it, but what makes it 
fun for me is to kind of live vicariously through it, which is why I do so many like people challenges because that's just the way I play. And I, I've enjoyed that for years where I can create any life I want. Bittisenship is just worth it simply because the game is basically unplayable without bittisenship, unfortunately. Do I think anything in this game is worth the prices they charge? Definitely no, but, but the thing is, is half the things we buy in life isn't actually worth the money. So it really just matters on if you like it. I'm gonna price it with the bundles just to make it easier, but we can see that billionaire's bundle, okay? That's one of the first bundles. So this bundle unlocks all content for the business job pack, landlord expansion pack, investor expansion pack as well. You can become a titan of industry by starting acquiring or leading a company with a business job pack, upgrade your properties, rent them out, and manage tenants with the landlord expansion pack, rake in the cash by investing stocks, bonds, cryptos with the investor expansion pack. Okay, so that's actually a pretty decent pack if you ask me. So that's about six dollars each i wonder now what the individual cost is yeah okay so it definitely is worth it to get uh the bundle for that so you're saving three four dollars too so crime pays bundle okay i've never actually seen these bundles advertised this bundle unlocks all content for the mafia job pack a black market expansion pack and includes assassin's blade if you're the type of person that loves crime stuff mafia black market because you get the museum you get like stealing stuff you get the auctions they should actually update this to probably add dealer i think that would make it really worth it but don't freaking up the price <laughs> Get away with unaliving, literally, with the Assassin's Blade. Open your own museum, display treasures, and unlock black market vendors like the wildlife smuggler and street chemist with the black market expansion pack. Live a lucrative life of crime when you join the mafia family and work your way up to becoming the godfather or mother in the mafia job pack. So let's do the math now with the crime pays bundle. It's the same price as the billionaire's bundle. Black market expansion, which is $7. The Assassin's Blade, which is $13. The Mafia Career, $7. So it's $27. Definitely the Crime Pays Bundle is worth the money because you're saving about $10 from that. Okay, so as you guys can see here, BitLife Essentials is what this category is called. I fully agree with this. I think in order to have the best gaming experience, you need to have Bittisenship God Mode number one. You could actually survive without anything else. You might get bored though after a while, but to at least enjoy the process and still be able to have some creativity because you can choose special talents. You might be able to watch one ad to get a certain career that life. Definitely Bittisenship God Mode is like the bare minimum because that's honestly what we only used to have. And we all fell in love with the game then, you know? None of this other sh was in the game boss mode now one thing that makes the game really fun in the sense that you get all future job packs for free so you're gonna spend 25 dollars which is like it's actually like kind of insane but let's say each job pack was only two dollars not seven 25 dollars divided by two dollars 12.5 job packs for free let's now do 25 dollars divided by seven you get three and a half job packs for free but you get all future ones. I think if you didn't get all future ones for free, it would be useless. Again, is it worth that price? No, but is it crucial to your BitLife gaming experience? Yes. Billionaire's Bundle, I think it really depends on the way you wanna play. If you have boss mode and god mode, you're kind of set. You can get rich very quick. The thing is, is one of my personal favorites is the landlord expansion for money. I almost never use the business job pack anymore since they released the landlord but my go-to for quick money is definitely crypto or landlord because I would buy this simply because it's cheaper than paying for both landlord and investor but there's no point in getting business if you're gonna buy boss mode because it unlocks all the job packs anyway so you're kind of spending that extra money for nothing. These expansion packs are almost completely useless to the BitLife gaming experience. So kind of my perspective with making this video is I want to see what a new player sees when they open the marketplace and they probably get extremely overwhelmed and so i'm coming as like a long time player saying okay what should you actually get because if you spend a hundred dollars on items but you didn't get bitizen it's useless sorry for all the word jumble but that's kind of the approach i'm taking so pretty much in my opinion all expansion packs are almost useless so i wouldn't even consider crime pays bundle in total or the billionaire's bundle in total because as long as you have boss mode paired with god mode you can get rich because you can do mafia 
media on the side you can do business things like the crypto and investors are just a bonus but there's so many other ways to make money in the game so, like you can literally get rich by flipping houses by just aging to truly have like an out there experience you could throw in billionaires bundle and crime pays bundle you know because that is some extra fun stuff and some of the most easy ways to make money generally crucial things citizenship god mode and boss mode so let's do the math for that in order to have a fun time playing bitlife you need to spend about 43 dollars on the game 43 canadian to us would be about 32 dollars us but if it's the other way around it's more expensive for someone like me it's about 60 dollars if anything maybe adding to this would be unlimited time machine because i won't lie when i play i use it almost every life because sometimes she just goes wrong especially when you're doing like a dedicated challenge like living a celebrity's life and then all of a sudden somebody just kills you out of nowhere it's like you just ruined it so now i'm gonna go into now what are fun things that you might like but now everything else we talk about you don't need the only reason why i have everything in the game is because i was an og player from now on is just for my curiosity to see how much it actually costs okay we have our expansion packs now zoo expansion pack secret agent cult investor landlord and black market so all the expansion packs together are 42 dollars so now we add the 43 dollars to the 42 43 plus 42. Again, expansion packs are all kind of useless to the average BitLife game player's positive experience. But if you are the type of person where with your birthday money, you do want to spend $7, landlord and investor are ways to actually improve your BitLife gameplay. You know, so let's say you want to be a zillionaire. Let's say you want to make quick money so you can live your life a certain way. But it honestly depends on you. What if your dream is animals and those are your passions? Zoo might be better for you next we're moving on to items and holy moly i can't with the items <laughs> actually i did a video where i bought every single item i spent so much money and the items should all be like two bucks each i don't know about you basically there's golden diploma fame and fortune bundle golden pacifier get out of jail free card golden piggy bank spiked brass knuckles promiscuity potion golden passport assassin's blade and hollywood star the hollywood star not needed assassin's blade honestly is great for if you do think that you're the type of person to do criminal things a lot but it only saves you from unaliving people so it's kind of useless in any other aspect but but I do use it pretty often personally, but I also film videos with it and I do a lot of out there things to entertain you guys watching. So your average bit like player probably doesn't need it. So Golden Passport is great to just quicken your gameplay. You don't need to ever have money to travel, but it's really not hard to make like $3,000 in bit life. You do a couple freelance gigs, you're good. The only thing is that sometimes it's hard to emigrate when you're like a criminal that got out of jail. But again, these are just like the expansion packs. They're not not needed we played bit life back in the day with none of this and we had so much fun for me golden pacifier is worth it because i try to have six thousand damn babies every other month uh golden diploma is really fun but the thing about golden diploma you don't need it because they made it that you could have two degrees without it i'm gonna do the math now to add up the potential of buying them all so fame and fortune is the golden piggy bank passport and fame plus 25 we have 110 the prices for these fucking items are insane <laughs> i only got them all because for a video like i didn't even have them all and i filmed content so if that shows you anything again it's always your choice but again as long as you have bitizen god mode and boss mode you're good like you'll always have a good time okay so at the moment the total of buying everything in the game so far is 179 dollars so job packs now so we have 10 job packs seven dollars each is 70 dollars if you were to buy all of them on their own to get boss mode it's 25 but in my opinion if you're even gonna buy one job pack you might as well get the boss mode because you're spending a third of the price for just one when you're guaranteed all of them and now we have miscellaneous so we have unlimited time machine for 20 challenge vault for seven and superstar so i have the challenge vault simply for videos uh to help people with challenges i know i stopped the challenge videos because it's just kind of i haven't had time like lately i've been focusing on filming like video videos and then by the time saturday comes i'm just exhausted so let me know i i could probably do the challenges every week again and the challenge vault ones if i release them as shorts so let me know if you guys would be down for that because i don't think i'll have time to do it for like a main channel video i don't 
have super sorry <laughs> i just don't like the gold it's too distracting i like the red it's softer on my eyes the dark mode hurts my eyes personally as a player that plays multiple times a day every day especially makes content with this game unlimited time machine but if you are someone that isn't a content creator and makes bit life videos you don't need unlimited time machine so in order to have all the miscellaneous items all the item items all the expansion packs boss mode and bit is in god mode it is a total of 213 dollars you don't need everything in the game. Don't let businesses and marketing make you buy things you don't need. Like for example, I'm selling a digital planner. I made my dream digital planner for school because school is one of the worst ways that stress triggers me is with school because it triggers my fear of failure. Going back the first time was extremely overwhelming. I'm only taking a couple courses because I don't think I can handle more and I designed a planner that would make my life easier and also with like ADHD and stuff. I was just like, you know what? If it helps me so much, let me see if I can help other people. And I sold it, you know? But at the end of the day, it's still people's money that they are using to buy. So it's like, it is completely up to you. You make an educated decision whether you wanna buy a thing on an app or buy a YouTuber's merch or buy a digital planner or join a Patreon. At the end of the day, don't let people try and sell you so hard. If you want my opinion as a longtime BitLife creator, citizenship God mode, boss mode, and that's it. Maybe landlord for some spice. Anytime I want to be someone, be a doctor, be this, be that, customize people. The key is special talents and having Bidizen unlocks everything for you. By only getting Bidizenship God Mode for $43, you save $170. Do you need boss mode? No, but boss mode simply for the fact that you get all future job packs makes it worth it. So I would throw that in there as like a necessity. So that's pretty much my review of BitLife as a new player coming in, seeing the marketplace, seeing how much in total it is and what I personally think of someone that's played for a long time, what you should get. A girl, it's up to you and you make that decision. Let me do the math for you again. So if it's 213 Canadian, 157 US, 158. So that makes it a lot cheaper for my American viewers, which are most of my audience. But if that is 213 US, I take the L because that's almost like 100 dollars Canadian. But yeah, so again, this was more of an educational video. I was very curious and I was really looking forward to filming this video once I got that comment. And let me know in the comments if you want to see me now do an actual bit like gameplay as just a free player with literally nothing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.